Now, many people out there still believe that if you choose not to pay the TV license fee, you can't even have a telly in your house. Or, if you don't pay it, maybe you can have a telly in your house, but you can't use it to watch anything, apart from maybe your DVD collection or VHS videos from your cousin's wedding from the 90s or something. Well, I'm here today to tell you all of that isn't true. And you can actually watch tons of stuff if you choose not to pay the 159 quid a year TV license. You may very well be surprised at how much you're able to watch. So stick with me and I'm going to take you through everything you can watch without a telly license. So first up, I think it's important we talk about what you can't watch if you choose not to pay for your TV license fee. And remember, it's a choice. It's a subscription service. And if you don't pay it, the things you can't watch are anything as it's being broadcast on any channel, on any device or any service, or use BBC iPlayer. So you're still going to be able to watch tons of stuff, but you're not going to be able to watch it as it's happening. That includes BBC One, ITV Channel 4, Discovery Channel, Sky One, anything. You can't watch it as it's being broadcast and you can't use BBC iPlayer. But don't worry too much because you're not going to miss a lot of your shows. In fact, the only thing you're going to miss out on is some BBC stuff. Right, so let's take a look at what you can watch. So one of the main things you may very well be concerned about missing out on if you don't have a television license is terrestrial TV, like Channel 3, Channel 4, Channel 5. Well, don't worry. They all have free catch-up services. You've got ITV Hub, all four, Demand 5. They're free to use, and you can use them, watch anything you want on there, without a television license. The only thing you have to be careful of is there is a button on there that says you can watch things live. And remember from what we said at the beginning, you can't watch anything as it's being broadcast. So as long as you don't hit that live button, you can watch anything you want on ITV Hub, on All4 and Demand 5. So you're not going to miss hardly anything. I reckon without a telly license, depending on how much BBC stuff you actually watch, you probably watch up to 90% of the stuff you would have watched anyway. You really are only going to miss out on BBC stuff. And that's a small price to pay for 159 quid a year, right? But what if you have Sky TV or Freeview and all those other channels? Are you worried about missing out on those if you don't have a TV license? Don't. Don't worry about it. Most of the Freeview channels have a free catch-up service like ITV Hub and All4 and all of that, which you can access on your smart telly, on your phone, on your smart fridge now, isn't it? You know, and you can watch all of that, again, without a telly license, as long as you don't watch any of it as it's being broadcast. Sky is an easy one. Of Sky is expensive, isn't it? Well, did you know that Sky actually own Now TV? It's a streaming service, and it has all the Sky stuff on there, all on demand, and it's cheaper than Sky, and it's no different to Sky, really. And you can get the apps on your smart telly, on your phone, and everything again. So you won't even miss out on any Sky programs. It's crazy. You really will only miss out on BBC stuff, like BBC One, BBC Two, it's the only stuff you're gonna miss out on. Everything else you're gonna be able to watch, no problem at all. It's good, isn't it? I'm just gonna take a second to ask you a quick favor. If when watching this video you find it useful or you found out some interesting information that you didn't know, do please share it with as many people as possible on your social media, email them links, text them, whatever. Share it around and let people know how much you can watch if you choose not to pay the license fees, 159 quid a year. It's a lot of money, right? Right, on with the video. Well, what about the premium streaming services I hear you thinking about, like Netflix and Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, Discovery Plus, and all of that? If you have a look on the TV licensing website, it says you can't really watch them. It's not true. You've got to read the wording carefully. They word the website in a way to mislead you. All it says is you can't watch anything live on there. It doesn't say you can't use those services. So you can use Netflix, you can use Amazon Prime, you can use Disney Plus, Discovery Plus, all of those things without a television license. No problem at all. The only point you've got to worry about is sometimes like Amazon Prime has some live sport on there. If you watch that, you would require a television license. But to watch the shows and the movies on there, no license is required. Now, one of the questions that I get asked most of all by people who are thinking of cancelling their TV licences is how do I keep up with the news if I can't watch it live? Well, it's dead easy, and it's probably more convenient for you, really. And don't forget that even though you're not paying for a TV licence, it doesn't mean you can't listen to the radio, even BBC stations. Clues in the title. It's a TV licence. So you can listen to the radio all you want. So you've got, there's loads of news ones on the radio. You can pick your favourite, whatever you like. But you can listen to any of them on the radio. And there are some radio stations that broadcast live 
right here on YouTube. And you can watch those live, even though there's pictures, because they're radio stations, not TV channels. And then don't forget, if you like BBC News, you can go to the YouTube channel for BBC News, and you can watch all the clips they put up throughout the day, which will keep you up to date with the news. You can also use the BBC News website. You can even use the BBC News app if you want. You just can't watch the news live. But all the little clips and keeping up to date with it, no problem at all. Same for Sky News on here. You can watch all the little clips. You can't watch it live. And the same for GB News on here. You can watch all the little clips. You just can't watch it live. I haven't missed out on any news at all. And I've been TV license free pushing on pff, 10 years now. And it's not a problem at all. Once you get used to just watching stuff on demand, what you want to watch as you want to watch it, it's much, much better, trust me. But if you do want to watch full new shows, don't forget ITV has, what, News at 10, Channel 4 has a similar thing, and you can watch those on the catch-up services in full, free of charge, without a telly license, pretty quickly after they've been broadcast on the channel. They will appear on the catch-up service for you to watch whenever you want. So you're not going to miss any news, don't worry. So probably the other most common question I get by people who are thinking of cancelling their TV licences is about watching stuff live, like live streams on Twitch, or right here on YouTube, or on Facebook video. You know, can you watch those things live without a TV licence? So for instance, if I was to go live right here on my YouTube channel, you could watch it without a TV licence, even though I'm live, because I am not a TV channel, so it's no problem at all. So you want to watch gamers or whatever over on Twitch, you can watch them, no problem at all. Same as on here, it's no problem at all. The only thing you have to be careful of is if it's a live stream from a proper Pucker TV channel, like Sky News is on YouTube, for instance, and GB News as well, broadcasting live 24 hours a day. But because it's from a proper TV channel, you can't watch that. But someone like myself, no problem at all. You can watch it all you want, no worries. Not that you'd want to watch me live because the amount of edits I have to do to make these, to you wouldn't want to watch me live, trust me. Now, I really do believe that you can watch probably 90% of the stuff you would watch anyway without a TV license, which does beg the question, why pay the 159 quid a year? Why not save it and do something more practical with it? Whether it is because you need to save the money, or whether it's because you want to make a political point, or whether it's because you're just against the BBC now, it doesn't matter. You can still watch 90% of the stuff you would anyway, if you cancel your TV license. Now, if you want to learn more about how to cancel your TV license, I've got more videos on the channel. I will put links below for you, giving you all the information that you need to be able to cancel your TV license. Be like me, who hasn't paid it for nearly 10 years. And I haven't hardly missed out on anything. You know, once you get used to streaming stuff on demand, it's just so much better. You know, I can't even imagine going back to the days when it's like you had to wait for Tuesday at 10 o'clock or whatever for your favorite show to come on. Because nowadays, I just, pick up the remote and I can watch whatever I want to watch whenever I want to watch it. It's freeing, it's better, and it is the future of television. And it saves you 159 quid a year. Now, as I said a little while ago, if you found this video useful at all, please do share it with as many people as possible. Because you'll be surprised how many people out there still think that if you own a telly, you must have a television license. And they just have no idea that you can watch all this plethora of stuff without paying the BBC 159 quid a year. So do share it around. If you have any questions or anything, you'll find out how to contact me below. Do send your questions over, or leave your comments below, because we've got a great community here. And if I can't get back to you quickly with an answer to your question, loads of people in my community will be able to help you. We're really friendly here. Don't be afraid to ask any questions, all right? So that's about it from me for now, I think. Don't forget to check out the channel. I've got loads more videos about the TV license. Some of them are even wearing moustache and a wig, worth a laugh. So take a look at that, and I will see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.